Medical recognition, James Comley. Phone number, address, bad reaction to allergies. No shit. Take a picture of that for my records. Who am I looking for? Bonnie Ramsey. Andrew Reed. Mental or emotional illness? Unstable. Alcohol. Dependence. Date of birth. Interesting, Andrew. Very interesting. Jason Gomez. Don't know who you are, so I don't really care. Kyle Thompson. Don't know who you are either. Don't really care. Marlon Fox. You are in a fancy font. Diabetes. Uh, so I don't think I care. Unless it's a birthday I care about. Rebecca Hunter, don't care. Empty. Raymond Brown, don't care. Raymond Brown, don't care. Wanda Tyler, super care. Cancer. Date of birth. Phone number. Don't know what to do with that information though, sadly. Sound too dumb. Okay, let's close it. Empty. The purpose of this form is to provide the patient with the necessary information that they need to give their employer to help the employer make decisions about accommodating the patient to prevent disability leave. Blah blah blah. Kyle Thornton, Thornton, was on disability because of Jeff Schneider. I don't know who that is. I also don't know who Kyle Thornton is. Maybe I don't care about Kyle. Andrew Reed. Yes. Henry Johnson? Of course. Is it Henry Johnson or Johnson Henry? I've seen it both friggin' ways, game. It's gotta be Henry Johnson. It's gotta be, he's gotta be like a fake person. Andrew Reed. Two to four weeks. Two to four weeks of what? Doesn't really say what. Interesting. Again, not sure what to do with that information. Bonnie Ramsey, permadropal. Andrew Reed. He's on drugs, cool. Patient ID, long number. Nothing's jumping out to me as a useful number. Marlon Fox again. And finally, Wanda Tyler. I feel like we've already read this. Raymond Brown, don't care. Kyle Thornton. Aceway Insurance. Groovy. Well, this room's proven less useful than I thought it might. Hello again, Miss Roberts. How are you doing? I can take a picture of this. What should we talk about today? Roberts notes. Nurses have notified me that you haven't been eating your meals. Is there something wrong with the food? We know that currently this is a rough time for you. Your father has been asking for you. He wants to know if he can talk to you. Okay. A weird one-sided conversation. Drawer, don't push me. Can somebody let Catherine know that I found her missing pin and placed it in one of the drawers in the lobby? If she is wondering, I found it in the basement storage. She needs to take better care of her things. Catherine, you got the pin. And that pin number is 1964. Crossing that out, put it over here. 1964. Also, the basement is a good place to go. Once. I somehow restore power to the entire hospital. Don't know how the frack you want me to do that video game. Let's start with that pin thing though. I didn't see a generator room. Uh, Catherine? Catherine? Yeet. One, nine, six, four. Logbook. Ooh, tiny writing. 
Norma Jefferson was admitted at 10.24 a.m. Her son found her on the side of the bed and immediately called us. We tried to- on the side of the bed. What, like, did she wake up on the bad side of the bed? We tried to reach Dr. Johnson, but were not able to have- not able to. After the third try, we gave up and called Dr. Schneider, who is not supposed to be on duty. It's the third time that we failed to reach Dr. Johnson. He's never been unreachable this many times before. Jocelyn has been sick three days in a row, with Carla calling in sick at the last moment. Tonight's staff will be extremely short-handed. I was assigned to do double shifts this weekend. It's unfortunate that eight-year-old Timothy Scott drowned. Rumor was that he was trying to retrieve his toy and lost his grip on a branch. He was supposedly alone while everyone else was playing in the playground. His body was found three hours later in the river near the hunting cabin. Great! Timothy Scott, do I know you? I do not. I would not say that I do know you, Timothy Scott. You're going in the same order as the nurses, because I don't know how important you are. Not that nurses are important. Unimportant. I just think these nurses, nurses are not going to be important much outside of the hospital. Eight. Drowned. Toy cabin. I'm not putting that. As of the end of the hallway. Oh, let's put June 20, 1993. June 20. Nine, three. I was at the end of the hallway when I saw a young lady standing outside Dr. Johnson's office. It was 11.15 p.m. and the visiting hours were over. I called out to her. She turned to me and promptly walked away. I couldn't be exactly sure, but I thought she was drenched. I looked out of the window. It was raining. I need to hire someone to cover nights. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Wanda. Maybe this is just for... the elevator. Did I open these? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know how to restore power. Storage, exam rooms, 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 rooms. Oh, those aren't working. Oh, what is it? Oh, aha! Aha! Oh! Son of a biscuit! Use this, just Jimmy, use this. Son of a biscuit! Try Wanda's thing. There's no way this is working. Yeah, okay. We're all very surprised. Hmm. I don't know where to go or look. Hey! Who even was this? Why haven't I heard about this? Who? 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 Is it the doctor? <sighs> it seems unlikely that I need to restore power by going somewhere else. <sighs> but I still have things at the... Still have things at the mansion I want to do. I don't want to re go over this place again. Like, you know that place you just walked through? Do it again, but slower. It's gonna be way more fun the second time, especially if it's slower. So I'm gonna leave. We'll come back later. Uh, I'm going to use Wanda's key, and I'm also gonna check out the mansion. One is key first. Are we going to get a person staring at us? No. Good.
Okay. Um, sign in sheet. Visiting Wanda, Wanda, Wanda. Wanda, 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 Wanda. Wendell. Wanda, 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 Wanda. No Wandas? Are you serious? I can delete this, I think. Joshua Taylor is not Timothy Scott. Um, what do I have about Wanda? I don't think these pictures are useful at all. Wanda, come on, Wanda, you gotta be in here. I didn't break into the medical records for nothing, Wanda. Come on, baby. Andrew Reed, Kyle, Wanda Tyler. 23 Silver Lane Boulevard. And I got my handy dandy map. 23 Silver Lake Boulevard. Okay, let's go over there. 23. I tried to get into um, the photography place, but it um, was locked. Which, like, you know, like, like every single place. Although, I guess surprisingly... I mean, even though F word is locked, I guess I would technically expect more places to be locked than have been so far. Like, I mean, because it's not literally 100%. I would kind of expect it to be 100%. Okay, 23... 23! Sorry, closed? What even are you? How do I unlock you? Can I use a key? No. Gosh. Come on, the keyhole. Give me the unlock prompt. Just give me the unlock prompt. No. No. I hate when a lead goes dead. Let's go around the back. If we even can. Twenty-eight again. This doesn't have a number. I think this is twenty-three anyway. No, this is 30. I mean, these might be separate listings. Come on, it's not even a keyhole. Son of a muffin. 32. I don't care about you. Uh, I, I, I start throat singing in anguish. Man, what are you? 34, yeah, he's all, he's all different. Crud. I have so many clues. <laughs> no, so much nothing. Wanda, what's that key look like? Wanda Tyler, found in the hospital, belongs to Wanda. Wanda, I don't know what you did. Did you work? Yes, mom cancer, Derek chauffeur. But did she work in the mansion? Like, do we expect this key to be usable in the mansion? How possible is that? Oh yeah, it opens like pretty much every door, car door I've come across. And this one also has a handprint. It's clearly blood, right? It's not like, oh. Oh. I didn't notice that before. Uh, well. Fat lot of good that did me. 23 skidoo. Uh, no unlock prompt. Okay. Screw it. We're going back to the mansion. Don't know. Because the map highlights certain shops. So I was like, oh, there's not too many places in this town. But now there's like a friggin' the entire town has a friggin' diary that has clues to three different secrets in it for every single one. Creaky. So creaky. I think you're creaky and I like you way a lot. Pastor, uh, should I organize these notes? I don't know. Um, I, so right now in this moment, 
I'm experiencing something that in most other games I would probably consider to be a sign of it's like a flaw in the game but in this game I think it's kind of the whole point and purpose and what I'm talking about is uh not really knowing the order to things like not knowing when I've finished a thing or when I should stop and continue or like I'm never sure when I'm stuck like I'm never sure when I have a puzzle piece okay what we got we got we don't I don't think I've seen a five digit number unless it's a different date with a zero in it whose room even is this I don't know let's just go to the the painting let's gotta remember okay we got one locked room down there we have the that locked room across the way we have the security room is also locked When I say locked, I don't just mean locked. I mean locked with a clear keyhole or numpad or whatever. Anything behind Mona Lisa? No. Okay. How many digits is this? Yeah, yeah, I guess locked. I get it. How do I unlock it? There we go. Six digits. We have zero, two, five, two, four, one. Oh, well, great. I didn't take any pictures of this place. So I don't even know what sorts of dates to use. I could reread everything. Trisha fancies him. I've grown to like him too. I oh, let a tripe. We could try all these dates. I should just I should just write every single date. And then brute force all of these puzzles. Um theoretically if I have Oh M for map, diabolical. Um, theoretically... Where's the J? I have written these things down. How many journals do we have? Just one journal? Okay. Uh, I care about... I want to see Charles' diary. Okay. This is the thing. Scott's quite good. Okay, this isn't the day he arrived. Blah, blah, blah. Close. Moving to discover my fair. She's in the same. I forgot about this. Blah, blah, blah. Mom's death anniversary. August 27th, 1993. August 27th, 1993. January, February, August 8th. January, February, March. August, August 8th, 27th, 1993. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. August 27th. Oh, 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 eight, two, seven. It wasn't 93. It was. It was. I remember writing it down. I have, oh, hit the microphone. I have a distinct, a distinct memory. Oh, it's married. Not mom dead. Dang it. I remember reading it. Crap. Well... <laughs> I could try just going back years. Oh. Right. She's in the grave. Crap. It's like 82. Uh, okay, um... <sighs> Mom, death, August 27th. Making a note right now. Mom, sure her name, dead. Aug 27. Oh, 18 years. Oh, wait, we already did this math. 
18 years, that would put it at, um, ooh, 75, we said, right? 75, 80, 93, yep, 75. And that password was already used for something, but there's no reason he wouldn't use it twice, like a dummy dumb. Am I optimistic with this working? Of course not. Yeah, shocker. Uh, it's probably like friggin' Sophia's birthday or some crap like that. Did Sophia die? Charles, why? I have 1974 written down. I don't have a date for that. Could try Scott's birthday. Always worth a shot. Nope. 060175. Yep, yep, yep. 61975. Holy crap. That's kind of weird. For your foster son's birthday on here. Ooh, last will and testament of Randall Lewis. Ooh, is Randall Lewis? That seems like a real big reveal for me not to know. Oh no, he's the lawyer. Gotcha. Randall Lewis lawyer. Putting that down so I don't forget it. I remember that now though. Okay, Charles Roberts. I, Charles Roberts of One Maple, Dr. Haynes Creek, NL 28115, being of sound mind, declare this codicil to my last will and testament. Dated July 1st, 1975, effective as of today, June 21st, 1975. Item 1. Article 6b of my will should be modified to read, Should a boy be born in Robert's family as of direct lineage to Charles Roberts, as he, if he is the eldest son and no others contest, he shall inherit all the family fortune upon Charles Roberts' passing. The sole condition of this is that the son must be at least 25 years of age. Item 2. Article 6a of my will shall be stricken in its entirety. The firstborn child of Roberts' family shall inherit 50% of all family's fortunes should Charles Roberts pass away. Okay, uh, item 3. Article 11 shall be added to my will and shall read Vincent Roberts, born of Charles Roberts and Sophia Miller. That typo is mildly suspicious. Look at the kerning on that. Capital M, capital I. Shh. Should I take note of the capital I? I don't see any other similarities in the letter. Oh well. Oh, uh, okay. Family member. Yep, yep, okay. Adopted him. Blah, 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 blah. So, Vincent Roberts. He has no, I guess, kind of motive. But I feel like Vincent's now on target to be a victim. July 31st, 1995. I cannot believe that Scott killed my wife. It's being spewed all over the media. How? It's called, uh, the internet. Why? He loves Trisha and I treated him like my own son. It doesn't make any sense. August 13th, same year. I visited Scott today. I asked him why he would kill Vivian. He did not answer, but simply looked down on the floor. I wanted an answer so desperately that I nearly rat rattled his neck. You don't rattle a neck. Does he even feel any guilt or remorse for what he's done? How can he not say anything? I visited Scott again today, knowing that he'll be released soon. They, There just wasn't enough evidence to pin him. He looked thinner than before, but I didn't care. I wanted to know why he killed Vivian. When I asked, he stared at me. I was so angry that I yelled at him. I was about to leave when out of nowhere he said, I pity the ignorant. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean he did it? Was he just super drunk? I got drunk last night at the inn. Scott is now a free man. I think I babbled about how much I despise Scott and what I would do to have someone get rid of him. Did I really say that? How did I get home anyways? Oh, right. Bernard was with me. He drove me home. First National Bank. Routing number? Account number. Those are way too long. Email password? Love Trish. 
0611-061-174. Writing that down. 061-174. Or maybe that just provides a template? I'm not sure where that number comes from. June 11th, 74. But... I mean, it's normal. It's how, I've been, it's how I've been doing the dates. I'm not sure what that date is, though. Study room study room desk hint. Uh, study room desk hint? Maybe that's the locked room. Take a picture of that. Pocket that. No? Four. This is a king. Gotta find more chess pieces, apparently. King equals four. Okay, away you go. Well. I'm glad we solved that. Weird that it was, um... Scott's birthday. I stand by that being weird. Let me check these, didn't I? Yeah. I should just leave them open. Don't know why I closed them. Um, we tried the key on here, right? There's no way we didn't. Yeah, okay. Did Wanda live back here? We never figured out the key card. I gotta fix the elevator. Gotta fix the power. Good gravy. Let's try that thing over here, that six digit thing. Six digit thing? Yeah, I don't wanna open it. It's one, okay. Why is there a key jangle? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, six, one, one, seven, four. Oh, right. It's five digits. Let's drop that leading zero. No. Okay. 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 Let's go upstairs. I want to refresh my memory. About what things are locked. Nothing here. I guess I'll try this key. I don't think I've tried this key on everything. You want to try one of too. Cool. Yep. I wish the key sequence didn't take so long. Can't turn this over. Wash the windows. Did she get pushed to her death too, I wonder? Don't think that's going to be an openable one. Security room. A six digit code again. Who worked security? James Howard was the sheriff. Stephen Package. Alice Courtyard was the butler. Hunting partner. Dorothy was the head servant. Bernard was at, say, March 3rd, 95. No, the day he left. Or whatever happened to him. Who does security? Uh, okay, I think I'm muddled enough that I need to both take a break and also just spend some time running around more or less at random clicking on things and hopefully finding things. Oh man, I don't know. I should probably also read all of the nice clues that uh, Amish Hitman left in on my as comments. I read them, but I didn't write them down or make a to-do list out of them. I would have been smart. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, 
assuming this is where an episode ends, or it's fast forward jump. I don't know yet. This is a recording break, though, so I'll see you guys in different clothes. Teacher catchphrase.